hi everyone this is tulip i am calling you from massachusetts are you all doing well and if you are enjoying the summer's nice weather warm sunshine welcome to my show hourglass trails and today i have alex with his music but i'll call them soul songs so let's get to know alex and hear from him what he's going to sing us today hi alex thank you how so you much for joining my show absolutely thanks tell for having us about me. your music and the fire revival ministries that okay you have. Uh, yeah i do my music from my childhood and uh, <coughs> you know as much as i remember myself it's it was all about music you know in my childhood i was singing for the people on the streets you know to entertain them and then in school and then I graduated from music school and then from musical college, you know, and um, when I came to United States, it was almost 18 years ago, <coughs> I decided to uh, open the ministry because I would like to spread out the good news about hope, about love. And uh, in 2006, I registered the ministry, Fire of Revival, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, now I'm just traveling all around the world, all, all around the U.S. Mm -hmm. and, and play my music. Okay, so you began right from childhood. So you are writing your own songs and giving them the melodies, right? Right. So does music come to you as an inborn gift or did you learn it when you were doing in the childhood or it just came through to you? You know, it's very interesting because mm -hmm. uh, even I graduated from a musical school and musical college, mm -hmm. but I would say that I uh, create my music just because uh, it's a God talent. You know, it's just inside of me. You know, even I was not in uh, uh, music school. I already created some poems, you know, mm -hmm. I created some melodies, you know, even before that. But when you know the music, when you know uh, how it's work, it just help you to improve, you know, to make it better. No, definitely. I believe in this uh, inborn talent that we come up with. We all of us have some creativity within us, but some of have, I think, um, more inborn and mm -hmm. to become so exposed earlier as to others who have it exposed later in life, right? Yeah, definitely. So. Let's straight away listen to some of your songs. Okay. And so dear viewers, this is Alex Yansevich with music for peace and goodness to spread. Thank you. of the cross Jesus not there anymore He's in Father's holy place Ready to come back again Revelation of the cross Jesus not there anymore He's in Father's holy place Ready to come back again Oh God, we wait for you We tired of going through We won't be with you In heaven back 
Thank you. Yeah, Let's welcome. go to the second one. Um, and this is a time when I was think I was very fortunate to meet Alex. Very random that we met. But at a time when the world is full of chaos, even right at home, the plight of the children at the border and everything else around the globe and the fighting going on everywhere, I just thought, the words that Alice sings, the message for peace, this is what we really need to spread now. We need to find peace. So Alex, please go on to your second one. Thank you. Next song. Come to you. My Savior, glory to you, Creator, glory to you, that every day I see your helping hand. You are my sword and shield, and when I'm thirsty, you my spring. You are my song in time of need. Glory to you, glory to you. My Savior, glory to you, Creator, glory to you, that every day I see your helping hands. You are my sword and shield, you are, when I'm thirsty, you my spring, you are my soul, in time of need, I love to sing about you. pleasure to say that I love you. You are my Lord, you are my home. I glorify your holy throne. Glory Glory to you, 
thank you. So dear audience, are you totally glued like I am? The beautiful voice he has and the message seems to come right out of his heart, right? So we are listening to songs that are building mass connections between us and our creator. Yeah, right? absolutely. Absolutely. And if we just uh, a curiosity, uh, how would you think of heaven? Uh, is it something we have right in this world or is it something we wait for mm -hmm. in terms of seeking heaven? Or is it a relative term that we find in our own way? Just a right, right. matter of curiosity. Yeah, there is a very interesting question. Thank you for mm -hmm. that. And um, in my opinion, heaven, there is something we go into. Okay. Yeah, because I believe that God created us to be here on the earth uh, for some purposes, you know. Uh, somebody create the TV shows, <laughs> you know, you know, somebody making music, somebody driving Uber, <laughs> mm -hmm. somebody doing something else, you know, and all of us, we just, you know, um, doing some little things, but it's a big picture. It's very important what we do. Sometimes we're not maybe really agree with that. Yeah. We, we want more, we want another positions. But when we stop and think about it, the reality is it's so nice and it brings happiness when you're on your own position, mm -hmm. on, on something you're happy to do. I have some friend and uh, she likes to uh, baking, mm -hmm. you know, and she uh, doing the bread and mm -hmm. some cookies and everything. And now she's going all around the markets and she's the happiest person in the world just because she's doing that. You know, yeah. for somebody else, like, yeah, really? Just to make a bread, to be a happy person? It, kind of like, no, that's not related mm. to each other. But definitely it is, you know. But one thing to be happy here on Earth, mm. but other thing is I believe the Creator waiting us somewhere in a better place mm. because even we do our best, our world is not perfect. Yes. That's why we're going to our perfection. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially in the Bible, God's saying that uh, He's preparing for us the heaven, the new place mm -hmm. where He's waiting for us, and it's going to be all perfect. You know, that's why I'm waiting for that heaven, and I just uh, asking people, you know, and, uh, to join, to join the heaven, you know, mm -hmm. because it's a, it's a nice place. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Alex. I really appreciate your opinion and totally agree we are always striving to be the best of ourselves. Yeah. So, dear viewers, you can also find um, Alex's music on YouTube and from there you can pick up lots of places he goes to. So I was coming to that. Mm -hmm. I see that you travel a lot. There are some points that you'd like to mention on that account, the places uh, you've been to? Yeah, uh, for my uh, 17 years mm -hmm. to live in the United States, I already visited 27 states. Wow. And uh, mm -hmm. as well as Nicaragua, uh, Canada, Israel, France, and Spain. My goodness. Alex. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I like traveling. I like to have fun. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, I like to share my heart and the message mm -hmm. of heaven. That's why almost in all of those, you know, situations, you know, my travel and everything, mm -hmm. I have some space, you know, to, to have performance. Okay. Yeah. So let's think of our lens and listen to more songs from Alex. All right. Thank you. Let's go. Let's do that. Let's do your soul. Let's do your heart. Let's do your mind to the glory of God. Let's do your soul. 
Let's tune your heart. Let's tune your mind to the glory of God. I love these songs. Tune your mind, tune your heart, tune your soul towards God. And what else could we do as a creator's creations? Definitely, I really think it's beautiful to say when you say we come to life with a purpose, right? Absolutely. So, and when we have something, it's very, very crucial that we learn to share it. And Alex, I think with your talent for the messages you send, the sharing that makes everything so fulfilling. Oh, thank right? You. Yeah. So on that account, let's. Um, would you like to tell me more about your sharing or how? What's your views on it? I mm -hmm. just love to listen to it because right. you are doing that. Yeah. Thank yeah? you. Thank you. Uh, you know what? I would like to start a while back when mm -hmm. I was 17 years old and uh, um, it was probably kind of uh, first steps uh, to get a face, uh, to think about uh, mm -hmm. eternity and heaven and everything because usually when you're young you don't think too much about mm -hmm. it, you know, you're more about fun, you're more about just, you know, like whatever your friends mm -hmm. do, you know, and it's so hard to be different. 
yes. because your friends would like you to be just like them. And when you kind of like a little bit more serious, you know, or you starting to talking about something more eternal, they're like, hey, come on, we still have a time for that. But yeah. reality is that sometimes mm -hmm. young people gone too early. Definitely. You know, that means that we're supposed to be ready, you know, whatever age we are. You know, we're supposed to think about it and we're supposed to be uh, ready to meet our heaven, you know, and be mm -hmm. serious kind of about it. That's why when I was 17 years old, I met the girl mm -hmm. and um, it was all about just relationship, uh, just about love, you know, and mm -hmm. everything. And it was a good story, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, she was already um, in church. She was already in Bible school. Mm -hmm. And she started to share with me the message about love and hope, you know, and mm -hmm. something different about heaven. And I was like, wow, really? That's very interesting. You know what? I was so uh, surprised by myself that I was not rejected that said, hey, you know what, you're a little bit crazy young woman, I, I don't want to date with you. But I was like, wow, that's something interesting. Mm -hmm. And as soon as our relationship goes deeper, I understand that, you know what, she brought me not the love, like people seek the you know, love mm -hmm. between each other, yeah. but she brought me a different kind of love that I jump in and <laughs> I'm still after 26 years uh, in there, you know, and I, I'm so happy. Uh, just like, like you said, I, I feel fulfilled. I feel accomplished. I feel completed wow. with this kind of love, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, that's why, uh, you know, when you got something good, mm -hmm. what do you want to do? Just share with somebody else, right? You know, mm -hmm. like we meet our, each other, you know, and you see that there is something you know, interested in me, you invited me to this program because you uh, wanted somebody to know about something interesting, right? Exactly, to share your beautiful world. Yeah. 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 And I see like all your guests, they're so really interesting people, you know. They Thank you. They uh, have something behind them, you know, and they can share this. And this world really needed today when we're talking about different issues in mm. our society. We need something that put us together. Exactly. We, we have too much, the things that divide us by any reasons, you know, but we need mm -hmm. something that make us united, put exactly. us together, you know? That's why, that's what we're supposed to do. All exactly. of us, doesn't matter of our, you know, race, doesn't matter of, uh, you know, of our education or mm -hmm. anything, you know, like, we are born here in the United States, or we are immigrants, or whatever it is. We live on the same world, guys. Exactly. On the same earth. You know, don't think that one part of the earth, uh, it's going to be in a, some different position than other at a time. You know, because mm -hmm. we, w we have the same home. Exactly. You know, and we're supposed to build this home, you know, improve this home to be better. Exactly. You know, that's why everybody of us, we understand this in different ways. But when we try to share this goodness, mm -hmm. try to share this love, this hope, mm -hmm. you know, this message, you know, uh, it makes us better. It makes, it makes us close. Exactly. That's what we're supposed to do, you know. That's what I try to do in my performances, you know, wherever I go, you know, when I create my music, when I do my YouTube channel, you know, or whatever it is, you know. I just would like to bring people something better than they, uh, they have, you know. We have too much struggles, we have too much pain, mm -hmm. we have too much um, frustration in our life, you know, yes. disappointments, uh, some diseases come to our life, you know, especially cancer today, you know, it, it's so bad, you know. Mm -hmm. But when we have hope, you know, it mm -hmm. makes us stronger, you know, it, it gives us power to move on. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, totally, Alex. I really just love the concept of, of living in the same world. And Absolutely. I mean, living where we do, the land of America, it's uh, we again with people getting together to live a better life. And it's no different today from where it began uh, when the pilgrims came. Right. Right. So I also totally share this idea that we all share one earth. This, there are no different lands, the boundaries are made by men, right? Mm -hmm. So, but for the cause of peace and happiness to live a better life, we really need to be together in sadness, in happiness. Absolutely. And the totally beauty of music is 
while there is so much violence in this world, this is peaceful. And this is the way I really, really wish we could call each other and say, let's peacefully settle our differences because we are here to live for a better life. Everyone is right. here. So let's listen to another song that really okay. fits my soul. All right. Every time, every song just gives me so much food for thought. Thank you. Now, every person behind our work, as mm -hmm. you, you said, we are whole part of something else. So tell us something about your family. I know you have a bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. probably it's going to be uh, very surprising for the audience because they think, oh, there's a very young man here in yeah. studio. Yeah, lots of people think the same way, but I have four kids and my oldest one is 19. <laughs> yeah, uh, that means that I'm not that old or young as you think. But anyway, mm -hmm. yeah, I have four kids, it's four daughters actually. Yeah, my oldest one, she was born in Belarus uh, where I came from mm -hmm. and uh, she was year and a half when wow. we came to United States. And that's very interesting because it was right one week after 9-11. Wow. This year it's gonna be 18 years when we came to United States. And like I like to say, it's easy to remember, but at the same time, the th so, so thoughtful because you know it was very challenging time mm -hmm. for the United States. Actually, at that time, what I like, uh, it was, um, uh, lots of posts all around the United States, mm. united we stand. Mm. We're supposed to bring this message back to United States. 
you know, but without any strategies. We have enough strategies. That's it. <laughs> you know, no more. Mm -hmm. uh, but but we supposed to understand that. And maybe maybe I just think about it, because we sometimes you know ignore this message. That's why the strategy comes to this society, to this life, for us to awake us and mm -hmm. think like, hey, we supposed to do something. We supposed to deal in this. But anyway, yeah. Right after we uh, came to the United States mm -hmm. and, you know, start to uh, build up our life here, mm -hmm. um, we had three more girls. Wow. And that's interesting that uh -huh. they all born in October. Really? Yeah. My and goodness. my wife as well. That's why we have four birthdays in October. <laughs> yeah. Can I share something? My mother was born in October. Oh, see? Yeah, my mother's what birthday. What date? 25th. That's my... Uh, third, no, second daughter birthday. My goodness. Yeah, we have October 9, October 10, yeah. 19, and 25th. Yeah. And on top of that, mm -hmm. my youngest sister, she lives in my country, but anyway, she has a birthday on October 3rd. Wow. <laughs> yeah, October is very busy month for me. Yeah, yeah but uh, I like to be busy for family, because mm -hmm. family is everything. You know, there's another s message, another something we're supposed to remember because unfortunately, yeah, I know the life is challenging mm -hmm. and different, and sometimes people divorced. But I would like to just remind you: always remember uh, that you left somebody behind. And first of all, it's kids. You mm -hmm. know, and sometimes, most of the time, they don't understand these kind of things, mm -hmm. and they felt like they did something wrong. Why my father left? When my mother away, mm -hmm. probably I was not that good. We as a parents, we're supposed to remember all the time about that. You know, to mm -hmm. keep our family together no matter what. Because I, I understand sometimes it might be hard, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, what is important to understand the family or relationships, it's work. Yes. It's a hard work. It's hard work. You know, nobody saying it's easy. Exactly. You know, that's why after 20 years to being in marriage, I would like to say, yeah, it was hard for me as well. But I do my best to keep it together, not only for me, for somebody I one day said, I love you. I love you to death. I would like to be, uh, when I'm going to be rich or I'm going to be poor, you know, whatever it's happened, I'm going to love you. And nothing uh, give me permission mm -hmm. to go over this promise. Exactly. And, uh, you know, my four kids, they behind me. They, you know, lay down on me. They, they, they would like to see the parents, the family. There's a, a place of protection, okay. care, yes. and everything. If I say, hey, you know what? Now I love somebody else or v whatever it is, you know, something more convenient mm -hmm. for my personal life, my ego, you know, like, bye-bye. Who I am going to be. Exactly. So what would song would you like to play if it was your family? Everyone's family uh, you know what? I have, I have one very good yeah, uh, song. Yeah, I'd love to listen to that. Yeah, it's actually about, you know, like, United States okay. uh, overall. And uh, I, I would bring this message um, personally to the family as well, mm -hmm. just to keep faith, mm -hmm. to keep heaven, you know, and yeah. especially, I would say, to keep Jesus inside of our family, you know, and there's a way. Because united we stand, right? Yeah. Divided we fall. Yeah. So That's all family about is the cornerstone of the society yeah, and absolutely. the societies are the pillars of the nation so yeah. we stay together go ahead sing thank you only 200 years ago when this country was born we worshipped you alone like one nation under you over 200 
America runs in Jesus. America runs in truth. America stands together just for you, just for you. Are you totally taken as I am? I can hardly find words to say. Thank you to Alex. Thank you, Tilly. But uh, this is one of the beautiful summer days, one of the best ones today. So let's hear we, if you want to find Alex with his music, where can you find him? Would you tell the uh, audience? Where of course, on like Facebook, yeah. yeah, on the Facebook or YouTube, SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And do you play regularly somewhere around uh, Western Mass? Um, I play regularly in the, uh, on worship team in my worship church. Team? So yeah, what's that church? but yeah, that's in Agawam. It's a Bethany church, okay. Bethany Assembly of God, mm -hmm. the Main Street in Agawam. If somebody interested, yeah, let's come up. I'm playing at 11 o'clock in the morning every Sunday. Uh, yeah, but sometimes I'm going from place to place, from state to state, you know, mm -hmm. you can catch me there. So what's your next plan? Are you next week or next month? Where are you going? Yeah, next week, uh, me and my oldest daughter, we're going um, uh, not far from here uh, for the um, campground. It's mm -hmm. going to be a special camp for uh, foster kids. It's calling wow. uh, Royal Family Kids Camp. Yeah, our mm -hmm. church doing that for like 23 years now. Mm -hmm. And me and my daughter, we joined for second year. Mm -hmm. And we've been so impressed when we can, you know, pour of the love for the kids that maybe never uh, feel this love in their life, you know, wow. because they're going from one family to another family, you know, depends on the situation. Sometimes it's really, you know, too often, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, I know the family trying their best, but still it, it, it's somebody's family. It's not just their own family, okay. and they feel kind of lonely and everything. That's why mm -hmm. we just take them out, you know, for camp, for uh, make something good, something interesting in their life, you know, something remem memorable, you know. And um, it's going to be the whole week next week. Wow. Yeah. Totally amazed by all this good work. And truly, I mean, we at moments don't realize how lucky we are where we are. Definitely. And sometimes just small things makes us upset. But at that moment, if you remember these kids you are talking about, they didn't have even the 
littlest of what we have. Yeah. And you know, it's awesome the way you are sharing your talents to bring joy to so many people. And I feel, of course, I'm not the one to say. And because you are meant to share this, and because you will, and thus the talent came to you. I'm Thank just you. saying it because I feel it that way. Yeah, I I'm feel yeah. so blessed and yeah. grateful to you. You know, I, I believe that every meeting, it, it, it's mm -hmm. special. It, it was created by God. Exactly. You know, that's why, because we meet each other, you know, it, it was, it wasn't purpose, you know, and we see it now, you know. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, look at uh, not only human beings, if you look at nature, I mean, there's silence sharing, silence acceptance of us as well, mm -hmm. but we don't always silently accept them or appreciate them, the flowers and the trees right. and the mountains. Uh, we make our life out of them. Mm -hmm. But in all in all, you know, as creations, they are giving. So and human beings, we should have, I mean, reviving thoughts yeah, of definitely. how to be in a, like at this crucial moment, how to be peaceful and how to be kind, generous. Mm -hmm. Everything that makes life on this earth a good one. Yeah. Is you know, step out of this competition for power and for money and everything. Mm -hmm. Because in the process, we are destroying ourselves, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We are destroying our own art. We are mm -hmm. ruining the peace and the happiness of our own. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because Creator put us in this position, in charge, mm -hmm. you know, to, uh, to keep it in good condition, mm -hmm. you know for nature and for our relationship. Yes. And yes. we're responsible, you know, and uh, it's very important to understand we are responsible for something. Exactly. You know, all the time to respect each other, to do something mm -hmm. good, you know. I like some of the short movies on the Facebook especially, mm -hmm. you know, something like somebody did something good for anybody else. And then you see like those person because somebody did something good for him, he doing something good for somebody else. And then it's going from one person to another, from one to another, mm -hmm. you know, and it, you know, it, it spread out all over. It's the sharing, right? Yeah. Mutual sharing. Yeah, that's what, uh, like it's supposed to be. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's something really, I really, really wish that we would more focus on that if we have power, if we have money, if we have resources, it's not just to enjoy to indulge in. It right. comes with a message of sharing to give from us. That's how the, like if a tree has a root, it has, brings into fruits and flowers, but these are many. So if we see ourselves in one tree, yeah, absolutely. we have a lot to give. Mm -hmm. So we can explore more and more. So thank you, Alex. I wish we didn't had time, no time margin, and we could listen more to your music. Okay. Thank you so much for joining my show. Absolutely. My yeah. pleasure. So, dear viewers, with thanks to Amast Media and this awesome team, we have to end this show with Alex Yancevich and his music. And have a great summer, but only a few days. Remember, so get all the sunshine you want before fall comes in and the leaves starts falling. Oh, it's already saddening, isn't it? <laughs> How is this strange? But you see, the turning of seasons remind us that there is a time mm -hmm. for everything. And as Alex said, don't wait for good things to come. Whatever you have, you already have it. Start giving back to life. Absolutely. And once again, Thank you, Amherst Media, for making my dreams come true. And if you want to spread your dreams, come and join Amherst Media. It's a great platform where to reach out to the community and as an individual, make yourself a place in this community and this nation. And we live in one earth. Remember, we share, we care. And yeah. we live. So, until we next time we meet, this is Tulip. Bye for today.
from Amherst. Thank you.